Hello everybody, my name is Sulit and welcome to the Power Grid. And I'm very excited to let you guys know that tonight we will be playing The Walking Dead, a game by Telltale Games. It has nothing to do with the television series, but it does uh, reflect the comic book series. So if you're a fan of the comic books, take a look at this game because it's going to be right up your alley. So speaking of comic books... Once we get into the game, it's going to look very different from most games because it has like that whole comic book feel to it. The drawings, the colors, and just the texture. It looks like it came right out of a comic book. So I have never played a game like this before. I didn't think I'd ever play a game like this. But since it's The Walking Dead, and I'm a huge fan of the television series, we're going to give it a shot. So without further ado, bum, 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 bum. Let's get into the game. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Ooh, another one of those uh, choice stories that I really like. You know, stories that actually get affected by the decisions that you make. Those are the best games. The best. Yeah, what do we got here? Episode 1. A new day. Written by Sean Vanneman. Wow. Look how artsy this game is. It does really have that comic book vibe to it. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Okay. So there's a timer. And... Does it really matter? We're playing as a nah, criminal. Not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. Well then... Is that a pump-action 12-gauge shotgun? Aim to target at the rearview mirror. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. A what? A making boy? Was that trash in the street? You're from Macon, then. Yep. Oh, it's a place. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. It, with all due respect. Oh, no. Am I wanted for homicide? Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Why do I feel like... The guy I'm playing as is totally innocent. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. Damn, Meet apparently a teacher or a professor. You want to know how I see it? He doesn't want to talk about his wife, so she's either dead or they're divorced. Sure. Man, I actually really like the graphics for being Regardless, how simple it is. Could be you just married the wrong woman. It's probably not as simple as I would think. I mean, this is so cool. The drawing, the textures. Pretty amazing. <laughs> Oh, something big is going down. Are you going to say anything about that? I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big, soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. 
crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Yeah. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, <laughs> it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Well, maybe he's got a medical he condition. Show. People up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another or that. for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I Whoa! Watch it. out! This watch other out. I didn't even get a chance to read the dialogue there. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, damn. Something bad is going down. Shots fired, shots fired. That doesn't sound good. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, Thursday. my thoughts exactly. Ah, uh, fuck, my leg. Oh, damn. Use your right stick to look around and find a way out of the car. Well, here's a way out. I want to hey. look at the cop, though. Hey, officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. He looks like he may be in trouble with the trail of blood and everything leading his way. Kick window. Okay, there was something else down here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Okay, his shotgun. <laughs> Kick this wind. Okay. What are these? One of those uh, breakaway glass windows? <laughs> Not very good to have in a police vehicle. I need to drag myself out that window. Just saying. Oh, I can't get over the fact that it looks pretty damn different, but in such a good way. I've never played a game like this before where it looks like it's all drawn up, like hand drawn. This must have taken a lot of work, if that's the case. Can I go this way to the right? Nope. Let me get that shotgun. Oh wait, I'm handcuffed. What am I going to do with a shotgun? Well, I guess I could still soar to pick it up. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay, yeah. My thoughts exactly. There's something over here. A shotgun shell. I know... We need the handcuffs and everything, but I'm going to put it in a shotgun first because this doesn't look good. Looks empty. Okay, you have a shell. Easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay, I guess uh, he's not going to put one in the chamber. Officer? Uh, please tell me you have your keys on you. Good. Convenient. Shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, bruh. It's 
right up against his face. <gasps> How to scare anybody. All right, got myself out. Whew, that feels good. Officer. Holy shit! Holy shit indeed, holy shit. Give me that gun, give me that gun. Give me that gun. I've got one shell. Oh, thank God I picked that thing up first. But he's clumsy and he... Uh, hurry up! Hurry up! Don't make me do this! Oh, come on. Rubbish! Ooh, right in the head. This guy's been watching some zombie flicks. Okay, this is not how a convicted murderer or homicidal person acts. Hey, who's that? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! But you shot him. Well, like I said, he doesn't seem like the murderous type. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What am I going to do? I've got a bum leg. Oh my god! Oh, okay. They're slower than I am. That's fine, man. They're fine. Maybe not. Maybe not. Just made it. That was close. But they're gonna break that fence down, aren't they? Aren't they? That's how it works. So the zombies are attracted by noise. As most zombie lore Hello? goes, anybody, noise and blood and pretty much anything that's audible or smellable attracts zombies. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Anybody up there? Anybody at all? Hello? Anybody in there? Help! Wait, who said that? Who said that? Who said help? Was that me? Or was that somebody else? Wait, what is that down there? Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Oh, okay, that was me who said help. That's weird. I was in the middle of a sentence there. Oh, God. We're not going to play with a bum leg the whole time, are we? Here, let's get in this house. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. I guess nobody's home. Oh, great. Oh, okay. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. This house looks like a house of horror. 
And that makes it just even more creepier. What can we do about these fruits? Look at bowl of fruit. Oh, yes. It's fake. Damn. Oh, he was going to try to eat it. I heard an answering machine. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19. Clementine. I wonder if that's oh the kid God, that we finally. saw. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. Oh, we love no. You. What's going on with the family? Are they dying? I know they're stuck somewhere. They're trying to get back to Atlanta. Huh? Oh, who said that? It's Clementine. Clementine. Dick. Oh, a cup of water, yes. I wonder if I need to keep myself hydrated in this game. What are those? This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. There's a radio. Hello? You need to be quiet. It's an upgrade from the walkie-talkie we had in Firewatch. The Firewatch walkie-talkie looked like it came from a toy box. <laughs> Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. But I am innocent. Or so it seems. I seriously don't think this guy belonged in the back of that police car. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Whose blood is that? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hi. Hey, Savannah. <laughs> He's cute. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Mash A button time. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, wait. I'm so alive. Take it one more time. It's a punch this time. Give me that hammer, kid. Give me that hammer. Why? Oh, shoot. I think I messed up. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Savannah. Or Clementine. Oh, Savannah. Oh, God. Oh, that must have been the babysitter. Holy crap. 
Hi there. Well, nice to meet you. My name is Lee. Was this your babysitter? Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Two nights? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Oh, this sounds... this this kid sounds so cute and so helpless, but... I know otherwise because she's pretty smart and she can take care of herself. Look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down. Why would I wait till nighttime? You know zombies get stronger at night, so... Come on, let's go with the left one. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Say bye to your house, kid. Hey, kid, wait up. What pool are we talking about here? Oh, there's a pool here? Oh, here. This is the pool. I'll just go for a dip. Well, are you crazy, man? What are those on the ground? They look like little voodoo dolls, but they're probably just leaves. Oh, hey, there are people there. Uh, uh, oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. That's what y'all are worried about when there are zombies everywhere. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Okay, Clementine. She's so cute. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! I'm alive. I'm gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I've got two kills under my belt. I'm Chet. <laughs> we shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about She's so adorable. And we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just, Just some, some guy. guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Help him push it. Yes, Clementine, help us. Three's better than two. Oh, this is their truck. Good to know. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. I was 
just some guy wrongfully convicted of murder or some other thing. It seemed like he was going toward the direction of murder, but I'm not exactly sure. Why was he in the back of that police car? Police, I almost called it a police cab. What the heck is a police cab? Anyway. Or some sort of farm. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. Every time there's a zombie nice outbreak, to meet you both. go out in the country. Less people means less zombies. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. The no, Greens. Made it back without chat. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. There's always some kind of doctor in the country. <laughs> this is awesome. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Some kind of medical professional. Well, you don't say much. Wish I had five just like you. What did you say your name was? <laughs> it's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel? I know happen? Herschel. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I technically didn't, didn't lie to him. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is. Oh, yet. Clementine heard that. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. <sighs> I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. <laughs> well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? Okay, we're going to pause right here. Because I've been wanting to save this for such a long time, but they just kept talking. So, Herschel, why that sounded so special in my ears was because I've been watching the Walking Dead series on television, and the doctor's name is Herschel. He owns a farm with several people in there so it's just funny that they named this guy herschel as well i wonder if there's a uh, connection there we'll probably just have to shoot you 
We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. Clementine was like, There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. What am I going to do with a girl? All right, then. Can't just leave her. Lee, come on. You're responsible for her now. It smells like... Poop. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. She's so adorable and cute. I miss my mom and dad. I know, sweetie. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Why didn't it show us his nightmare? Hey, get up. <sighs> oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. <laughs> Dad! See? <laughs> the word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure thing, partner. I gotta ask the girl. the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. <laughs> Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I wanna build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck Never Fox. been on the tractor. I would like I to. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. What a simple wish I have to get on a tractor and drive it. Yep. Alright, so... Let's look at Kenny. Seems like an alright dude. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Seems like those two are getting along. Hmm. <laughs> Kids having fun. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Just call his dad, Sean. Sean's still working on that fence. Let me help hey, you out. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. No prob. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. <sighs> gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pull the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Two, actually. 
I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Oh, so it is ex-wife. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. That's why he didn't want to talk so about too. it. Maybe it's not too bad there. Obviously, I didn't choose the wife one. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I chose the family one. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Yeah, what are those? It's plywood? That's not gonna keep anything out. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world. But it gets the job done. Okay. Where's the dock? Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Should be in third grade, right? It's almost like we didn't see She's people eight. eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon. You walk. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. The choices that I have to choose go by really quickly. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help and... We just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. Ran it's over some? You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we. the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? I do. My last thought I had before seeing any of what happened was of those wrinkly Sharpays I see at the clinic. I want to go right back to thinking about that silly dog. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. A Sharpay is a dog? You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Alrighty then. Let's get inside the house and uh, see Mr. Herschel. Actually, he's not even there. Let's go in the barn, I guess. Maybe he's in the barn. Oh, it says talk to Clementine. Never mind. I thought I just spoke with her. Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. Oh. It's wherever my cursor goes that it tells me what I'm about to do. Okay, what are we about to do here? Nothing. There's something I gotta do with this motor or something. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! Already heard you. Okay, it's enough, kid. I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm a little lost. Is anybody else lost? I probably have to go talk to Herschel, but I can't find him. 
Nor can I actually just go into that house over there. Or can I? No, I cannot. I don't have a clear objective, so I don't know what to do. Maybe talk to this guy again. There's something down here. What is that? Oh, here. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Even you help? help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. Alright, thanks, man. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Looking to go I'm back to a military fisherman. base. Catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Oh, it's like, we stumbled upon Herschel's body? I think he means, uh, property. Okay, I'm ready to do something else now. There's like no clear objective whatsoever. <laughs> All it said was get to know everybody so far. And I can't find Hirsch. Oh, there he is. Okay. This is my fault. Because I didn't see the interaction button with that dude at the truck. You look awfully concerned, Lee. How'd you get out of Atlanta. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon. My parents are in Macon with my brother. I'm gonna well, just not no, say anything about right. the wife. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? No. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. I'll get my gun! Oh shoot, what's going on? <laughs> oh damn it, dude. Damn it, Billy! No oh, same sound Billy, but good guy. Oh, go to the dude. Go to the dude. Tractor off of me! Or just reverse. Reverse the tractor. Get on the tractor and reverse it. Oh, no! Oh, 
the one dude who thought of building up defenses just died. Well, you better shoot him too. Did I just make the wrong choice here? See, the reason why I went with the sun first was because I thought he would get his uh, son off the tractor and I would get on the tractor and reverse it. Sorry. Sorry! I don't know what the hell I was thinking. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help! I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Get out! And never come back! Oh, come on, man. I'm sorry, Herschel. I'm sorry. But you're gonna need us. You've got you can't right do this alone. You want it. Okay, first of all, why did that kid even have a key to the tractor? Second, why did nobody take it away from him? Third, why didn't well, I just get on that tractor and reverse it? Going. Why'd that dude say lift off the tracker? You can't lift up a freaking tracker? Tractor? That thing weighs like a ton or something, probably. Like a car. Jesus. I wonder if we're ever going back to Herschel's. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! I guess not. We're trapped! No! <laughs> I was about to say, I just saved that kid. There's no way he's about to die. Well, good thing there are other people there. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. I'm right in front of you. They could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. I'm staying out of this. We can't trust anybody. We already know that. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? If you guys leave alive people is... like us to I, turn. I have to. There's gonna be a lot more I go out there again. walkers Say, out there than you can what? handle. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too. In a minute, Cleo. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. Where's she going? I don't give a flying fuck. Where's Clementine going? She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over Dude. Dead body. We'll Don't you one dare. Hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let some over the bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody's doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. 
They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. This dude. We're about to be trapped in here with one Punch of him in the things. nose and make that thing talk. straight. He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Oh, Please? don't do it. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. What the hell, Lee? Hey, I'm not the bad I would guy. never say I'm that. Looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Which pretty much seals the deal for me. We're throwing him out. No. no, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> oh, I saw that coming. Come <coughs> oh, somebody... Help! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh, it's hard to mash A. I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Man. You okay? Thank That's you. Great. Thanks. Oh man, that guy's so annoying. Ooh, somebody has automatic rifles out there. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah, ah. Heart attack? Oh crap. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. A veterinarian would know what to do. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. It's a good thing there's a drugstore. need as much gas as possible so we it's can a drug get store. out of downtown make it. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. By yourself? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good Lily eye on Larry. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. <sighs> and you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. Doug and Carly. Got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Lily and Larry. Okay, let's go get those pills. 
What am I going to do with an ATM? What did I just pick up? Is that a candy bar? Alive inside? Alive or dead? What happened here? There's a photo over there. Oh, Jesus, the owners or something. What are you doing? Find anything? Why is he taking a photo of these people? Who was that he ripped out? Family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town oh. know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Oh, what a coincidence. No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. Oh, this is interesting. I'm playing... I'll just keep it to myself. ...the protagonist, but the protagonist is a criminal. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Don't make me regret this, Carly. There's a first aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Well, how lucky. I need to go ask Clementine if she's okay, though. Ooh, I have a weapon. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. This game's <laughs> protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. That they are. Dads are the smartest. My dad, my stepdad, taught me how to do a lot of things. And I appreciate that, so. Thanks, Dad. I gotta ask her if she's okay. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. This door leads to the back alley. So what do I do with that cane? Can I do something about it? Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Oh, sure. she's so adorable. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. 
It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? He just really doesn't want to talk about his family. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? They're not dead, are they? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? Why would they give me a choice like that? But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Well, whose store is this because now? Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. I still hear shooting outdoors. Ow! Oh, crap! Okay. I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. A lot? That is not a little blood, Missy. I'll find you a bandage. It is just like flowing like a river. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Yeah. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Oh, nice job. Okay, let's get in that office. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna... Oh, great. Wait? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Exactly, keep the walkie-talkie close. Need to find the key, is it up there? Dad, get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Oh, it's a television. Gotta find a key, maybe it's in a drawer. Nope. It's the remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Well, let's turn it on. See what's going on out there. That's what I figured. Oh, no even... Not even a news channel. Okay. I thought we'd be able to catch something off the air. Looks like that thing has an antenna. Maybe not. But I need to find a key. And it shows what I have in my hand or something there. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Man, this is really brutal that uh, he coincidentally ended up here. And found out that, you know, somebody well, might have been hurt in here. Still with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. It's complicated. 
Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Don't hate me, Clementine. Seems like she's the one who we have the most report with, so we don't want to piss her off. She might leave us. Go with these guys. It's my responsibility, though. What is this? I picked up another candy bar. We can't Beautiful. let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Here, maybe let's give the kid a candy bar. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, Glenn the Asian. If you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? Same name as the uh, Asian so in the TV series. I that motor in, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. Oh, damn. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor end. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Okay. We'll hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor end, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do. Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Rushing to your deaths. Great. Let's give Clementine a candy bar. Actually, nah. Let's keep this one. We might need it for later. I already saved the kid and I gave him a candy bar. What the hell am I trying to do with this kid? I don't think this woman wants a candy bar. I've already been there. Convalescent AIDS. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's all melted now. Photos of my family. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Oh, okay, so he's got jokes. Those are cleaner than the last set of pictures we saw. But I'm not looking for pictures and stuff. I'm looking for... A key. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. I'm looking for a key. Am I missing something? Because I need to go get inside there. What is that in there? The pills are in there. Yeah. Well, I need a key. Okay, we're going to go back in here. I don't think it's in this office at all. Okay, I guess we have no choice. Let's go out. So Carly and I are going to go out and shoot some zombies and rescue Glenn. Let's see how it pans out. Hey, what is that? Oh, it's another candy bar. I've almost missed that one. Excuse me. I guess I'll give the kid a, a candy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. I know something about radios, do I? I 
How about turn it on first? Uh, nothing. Well, maybe there are no batteries. <laughs> there are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the remote control has batteries. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. So something like a flashlight battery. There's a lot to do in this store, surprisingly. So we need batteries now. Maybe the ATM has some, somehow. It's not damaged. Uh, this place didn't get looted. Oh, here's a battery. What do you know? A D battery. Well, actually, you can still see. Never mind. I thought that was another battery there. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Does it need another? I think it needs another. I only gave her one. Oh, here's the other battery. So things we need just start appearing. That's good to know. So if the key's not going to be in here, then I'm um, going to be very confused. Should be able to get it to work now. Maybe somebody took the key. Or maybe we'll find a, uh... What do you call it? Like a lockpick or something. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. How about you turn on the power, Missy? <sighs> Nothing. Or turn up the volume. And turn on the power. <sighs> Nothing. Okay. What's wrong with it now? Oh, the antenna. Yeah, that would do it. Not a strong enough signal to be able to pick up the transmission. It should be able to do it now. <sighs> Nothing. I guess not. Is that the way to do it? <sighs> Nothing. Okay, we should really be on AM or something. Not FM. Batteries are backwards, miss. Come on. Have you never put batteries in a radio before? No. The batteries are... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm playing tech support here. I, I get enough of this at work. <laughs> There we go. The fall continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. Well, that doesn't sound good. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> you ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. This is a long episode. How long have I been playing? I don't even know. Get down. Maybe an hour, more than an hour. Did 
you see that? I sure did. Must be Glenn. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! It was in, an, in a, an ice bucket or whatever it's called. Before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. Oh, good God. Answer, I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with We're humans. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Come on. Just because the world's ending doesn't mean you get to just ditch your humanity. Well, there's an axe. That looks pretty useful. I need a weapon. You know, I like this whole panning camera situation. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quiet. Don't use your gun. These things. Now let's have a look around. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. How about we put that gun in front of the pillow and shoot through the pillow? That should... that ought to take care of it. Go then. We made it. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. A screwdriver. Hey, I could use that to pick that lock, probably. Already found one, but I don't know how to get there. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Oh, here we go. Exactly what I had in mind. That was sick. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Improvise silencer. That was amazing. I like that. We can't really push this car. You're kidding me, right? It wants me to push the car? I want to get in that truck. Maybe there's something in the car. Oh, yeah. Looks like a... Uh Spark plug, yes. What can I use this for? Oh, okay, unlock the gear shift so we can push it. It's a spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Pick them in. <laughs> now we're back at the truck spark plug I wonder if I can use that to break this windshield with wait let 
me see the spark plug. The person inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Yes, that's right. Porcelain and car windows don't mix very well together. If you take a tiny piece of porcelain and throw it against a car window, that window will shatter so fast you'd think it was made of paper. But if you hit it with a blunt object like a baseball bat or something, it is not going to shatter, whatever you do. So if you're looking to shatter a, a window, you know, like a car window, a little tiny piece of porcelain. I don't know where you're going to find one, but that's how you do it. Life hacks, everybody. Life hacks. Exactly like that. True story. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. That could also take a lock off the door. You know, if the screws were visible. How do I get rid of this guy? Maybe go back over here? This is insane. It's so involved. I'm so sneaky. But I was so sneaky. Okay. Whew. There's a save point. How about we go over here first? So we don't get caught. And then kill her. Or maybe I can't. Oh wait, there's another guy here. Maybe I should kill that guy first. What are you doing? I'll wait for him to get closer. In the head, bro. There we go. Dude's wearing a high school jersey. Lee, get him! Nice! Thanks for having my back. For sure. Alright, this one should be easy. Nice. Should have kept that screwdriver though. Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. It's Are cool. <laughs> He's all like, everything is so cool. The way you killed that guy? Oh yeah. He's just all into killing the zombies. I would be too, actually. <laughs> they are zombies. They're not people anymore. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. It's a good thing I'm skilled in combat somehow. Committed murder. But apparently that makes me an expert. Well, I guess I hesitate less than the others. So, I'm an expert in that sense. Oh, yeah. This guy's a badass. Let's break that door down. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in.
Why is that thing boarded up from outside? Somebody locked her in here. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. So she had no choice anyway. There's no way she would have been able to come out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. <laughs> That's why. Leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want what? that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. She doesn't want that. <laughs> she doesn't want that. Okay. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Uh, we can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. Please, step back. It's just this is two crazy. Seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. I do the dialogue Back for Glenn. Up. Please! Oh sh! <laughs> okay, we all could have just died there. I'm shooting this bitch. Whoa! Take it easy. Oh, we just want to oh, help. She might just shoot you herself can't. after all. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Yeah. Yep. That was hopeless. I knew it. But now we gotta get out of here. Let's get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Okay, next time somebody's bitten, get it. Let's just show mercy. Everyone, all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. I have an axe, but that's not going to do anything. Probably against a reinforced door. But we're going to give it a shot anyway. It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. <laughs> That's not gonna work. I didn't think so. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work. Oh, wait. I know what to do. Let's break down uh, something with her axe. There's probably like some kind of barricaded doorway that I can break down with my axe. And then we might actually get into the pharmacy. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad. 
that didn't help. I'm leaving. Sounds good. We did start this mess, lady. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back at the motorhead. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good for you, bro. There you go. That's the spirit. Guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Did we get Why the gun we back? Tell Carly to just give it to her. It would have been a waste of a bullet. What do you mean? She was dead anyway. I'm not in the euthanasia business. Whoa, man. She was a person. She's gone now anyway. That's not what I wanted to say. I would have given her mercy and just shot her. Whatever. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so we have to get into the pharmacy. Somehow. Some way. We just have to. What is this guy doing? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. No, oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. Might have something and useful we'll out there. Down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I still hear shooting out there too, so you know, safe as can be. Zombies are focused on everybody else. Just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all the care of And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. You think? I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. What is there to see? That place is full of TVs and electronics. Oh, what if I can use my remote control? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. What's that? Look at the one trapped over there. Oh, he... Better hell than us, huh? Does he work in here? Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? It's like my brother or something. He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? Well, he's more than that, man. Pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and Shut up, Doc. Yeah, the same last name as him. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. I've got a photograph. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good as bad as we can make. Must be his yeah, brother or something. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Let's see if this works. Draw them with noise. 
Think you can do anything with this? Didn't work. You know what I could do. What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Put it up just against your chin and it'll have a longer range. Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Oh, what a nerd. <laughs> Oh wow, man, that's Doug, awesome. Doug. Oh, that's that's awesome, Doug. Might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. Now we just gotta take out the other few. Oh. Okay, which few notice? Because none of them are going that way. There's a brick here. I can't reach that brick. And that looks like it's locked. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. <sighs> ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. So now we have to make now a lot of noise. Back out onto the street. To break well, this lock. Some egregious I think I have an axe. Oh, this is not a good idea, man. There's got to be another way. But this might be hopeless, and they're looking this way. What do I do about this? Okay, it's like that they're not even seeing us or something. Let's just break it down. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Okay. Carefully. Those were some ninja axe chopping skills. There's what? He got it in like one shot. <laughs> That was amazing. I can't reach that brick. <clears throat> Where should I throw it? I'm not throwing it over there. What the hell do I do with a brick? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? Oh, I can probably throw it at the... It was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. At the electronics yeah. store. I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Then that would mean you'll hear a lot of noise. Right? Oh, dude. Nice aim. Oh, that was amazing. This is an emergency broadcast. This is not a test. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Oh, man. Hey, bud. Must have been his brother. I don't know what happened to Mom and Dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, so he, must have won, he must have been the one who got bitten and he stayed back. Did you find them yet? Give me Dude, a shut up. I got to do this now, man. Oh, I really have to do this. It's not just going to do it for me. You didn't smash the brains in. Oh, man, this is painful. You have to do it over and over. Oh, man, this dude is like super traumatized now. Oh, get the head. Oh, 
I could have gotten ahead any time I wanted. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know. There we go. I thought I could only aim at the neck. Holy crap! Run! <laughs> Did I just drop the axe? You serious? That was a valuable weapon. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. <sighs> Is that a polar bear on his shirt? I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. Frack. Oh, it's just one thing after the other, isn't it? Well, she has a screwdriver. That might be useful. Since we lost our axe and everything. Oh, wait. No, we didn't lose our axe. We still had it. It was still an option. We are so boned. Maybe time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. What do I do? What? Who's that? Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you know that... You're a great guy. Jake, thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? That I should know. Shit! Honey, are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Nice. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Oh, shoot. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The cane. Go. Oh. I found something. Yes. I do it. It's another one of those situations, huh? Let's help the person out with a gun so we can shoot across the room here. Like a sharpshooter. Uh, this is no ch challenge at all. She has a fully loaded magazine. God. Let's go. This really definitely plays out just like a movie. They, they, you got to move. Get that screwdriver. Oh shoot. I thought I could get the screwdriver. What the hell, man? 
Oh. Really? It resumes here? Oh my god, this is painful. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. And we're back. Uh, son of a bitch! No! What? What? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Okay, we need to move away from that lady and her dad because her dad is crazy nuts. It was so awesome. Nothing was awesome about that kid. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Going into the city, not a good idea. More people, more zombies. Can't be a good idea. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. I wonder if that girl turned out to be okay if he would actually stay. This dude. He's a pizza delivery guy, just like Glenn in the TV series. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showing up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... If he didn't shoot off that him. third shot... Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Honestly, it's because you had a gun. 
I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. This little boy talks so much. Supertron had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He was. I'm gonna knock that guy out. Then? Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Fuck you. Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Oh. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? I understand now. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. That was a really sudden turn in music. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Oh. Uh. Scratch that. To be continued. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Ooh, we have the rifle now. That, I guess, was is what we have to look forward to in the next episode. So, wow. <laughs> Talk about a really long episode one. Uh, 
Let's see. We escaped. We were convicted murder and we escaped out of the police car because the police officer ended up being bit and we shot him with his own shotgun. We found Clementine, rescued her from the treehouse. Then we found those two guys who led us to Herschel's farm. Unfortunately, one of those guys got killed because the kid of the other guy kind of ran him over with a tractor and the zombies got him. And now we're not with Herschel anymore because he kicked us out. Because he's grieving over his dead son. So, after that we met up with some people at the drugstore. Lots of words were said. Fists were thrown. Family was killed. And now here we are. At some kind of motel, hotel, inn. It looks like we're about to fortify it and defend it from zombies. And you just saw what's going to happen in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. It's been an exciting first episode of The Walking Dead. It was really long, so I've got to actually edit this to where it's not too long. But I don't want to have to leave too many things out or anything at all. I did run around a little while to look for the key and stuff, so that might have added to the length of this video. But anyway, once again, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you feel like. And don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.